know it's big b and not the little one i am back again with another video so welcome or welcome back to my channel if you new welcome to the big game if you've been here what up to my big game it's thursday and i am excited for the rest of the week because i am outside this weekend game and i'm only outside because it's east ridge alumni weekend if you don't know what that means, down here in Chattanooga, we have alumni where it's all the high schools and the people that graduated, they come together and they celebrate for the year they graduated. And East Ridge, I've been in high school. Damn. <sighs> I'm like, oh my God. I'm embarrassed to tell y'all how long I've been out of high school, gang. I'm afraid to tell y'all how long I've been out of high school, gang. <laughs> I've been out of high school nine years. Next year will make my 10-year mark. I've been out of high school. And out of nine years, we finally coming together. We ain't having no picnic because it's the school called Brainerd, Howard, and Tyner. We've been doing this for a very long time. That They have a certain day where they go and they just have a full picnic with tents and you can barbecue and you, each tent is the year you graduated. And it be people from years and years and years that come out and they celebrate their school alumni. But East Ridge, we ain't never really had nothing like that. And so this year we finally, we ain't having no picnic, but we finally doing something like Saturday, it's a basketball game. And I don't know, I think it's just the, the boys that went the, the, the boys that went to East Ridge. I don't know if it's other schools gonna be playing against them or with them, but all I know is East Ridge, the boys of East Ridge, they came up with um the boys of East Ridge, they came together and decided to host a basketball game. You can go, you can play, you can go there and watch and you know, do your own little thing, bring your own little shit or whatever. When I was in high school, them boy, them boys wasn't nothing to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like my school wasn't I ain't gonna count. My school went tiny to how with a brain up, but East Ridge don't sleep on East Ridge, man. You, you you can never sleep on East Ridge though. No count. You know what I'm saying? Like you can never ever sleep on my school. But I just love the simple fact that you know we finally coming together and East Ridge is doing something. You know what I'm saying? And then after later on that night is the East Ridge alumni birth. I mean East Ridge alumni um event at the club. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's. I know one is for East Ridge, then there's something else popping off at another club. So, more of the story is, nigga, I'm the hottest stud. You know, I'm one of the hottest studs out the city. And, 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 and I came from East Ridge. So, it's only right that I step out and, you know, put on for my school type seat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm putting that shit on. And I'm putting that shit on, gang. Like, I'm putting that shit on this weekend. Like, no cap. I'm putting that shit on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't even know what I'm doing. Friday and um, Sunday, but I know I'm putting that shit on. I'm gonna do something. You feel what I'm saying, guy? But I mean, like, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm, mean, I'm fucking excited, bro. I just love the simple fact that hey, I can go out and wreck my motherfucking school. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that to this, this um, I don't know if I'm gonna carry this vlog on until Saturday. Probably not. This probably gonna be like. You know, saying just a vlog from today and tomorrow. Because I do got stuff I got to do. And I'm going to be doing little stuff around the crib and whatever, whatever. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to drag this vlog on till Saturday. So, you know what I'm saying? Just know that vlog going to be lit whenever I drop it. But I'm pretty freaking sure that it won't be on this vlog. Because my intentions is to drop vlogs, if not back to back, every other day. And... I want to I want to do that for the rest of the month, and that's gonna be my goal to do that all August. Cause y'all know what season coming up, baby. <laughs> y'all know what season coming up, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm a, I don't know everybody. I've been getting DMs and people in my ear putting bugs. I'm here talking about some. I should name October something for me. I don't know. Be told sound real good to me, gang. B told would sound real good to me. It's just I love, I love the end of the year. I love the end of the year. It's like it's Scorpio season. Then you got Thanksgiving. Then you got Christmas, and then you got New Year's. I just, I just love it. And y'all know last year I did my big one with um 
um, Vlogmas, all I know is this year is gonna be ten times better, gang. Like I'm going, I'm going be, I'm going out. The stuff I didn't get to do, um, last December, I'm doing it December. I mean, this December, I just know like I'm, 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 I'm finna put in that work, gang. I'm in a whole different mode right now, and I feel like everything on my side. I just feel like everything is is, is on my side right now, and I'm finna take full advantage of it, like. I ain't going to speak too much on shit. I'm going to just let the vlogs do the talking. But um, right now, I am, um, I don't know, gang. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just me. It's just me in my house. I don't know. I like shit. I like things in my house to be a certain freaking way. Like, I, I need it to be in order, intact, and stuff need to go where it need to go. I got all type of stuff right here i just it's just stuff is just every freaking word and i got clients today i always clean up my downstairs every day um the last at the last i always clean up when my last client leave and i always clean up before my first client come and my room was pretty much clean but it's just the living room the kitchen and downstairs that i gotta just you know do a little touch up you know what i'm saying i've been cooking and got a lot of shit going on over here but um so i'm finna straighten that up and then and then my mom my mom she has my mom is um she ain't she was sick my mom been sick for a couple of days and um she's feeling a little better today so i'm gonna go over there and kick it with her for a little while and then I'm trying to see what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna go over there and kick it with my mom for a little while i gotta tend to these animals I gotta make a couple of runs. I need to pick up something from the store and I need stuff to um wash my um uh, wash clothes with. And then all I know is my curls, y'all see these curls? My curls came out a little bit and for the weekend I won't I don't know about y'all, but like when my hair is down, I be feeling I be feeling I hey I I I, I already feel like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? When I feel good, look good, and I know I'm doing good, I be feeling like that nigga. But it's something about when my hair is down. They, they just give, like, that nigga, like, daddy. Like, I be giving daddy for sure with my hair down. But I'm not the type of nigga that, like, I think I told y'all before. I'm not the type of person that, like, that, like, um straight locks. Like, you see the difference between this this curl right here and this straight lock? I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this right here. And so... Today is Thursday. I'm not, I don't go out until Saturday. So I'm finna, um, y'all know me. Everything gotta be, I'm, I'm OCD. So even though I just got my hair retwisted and I gave myself a haircut, I think I'm gonna go get a haircut. Nah, I'm lying. I'm lying. It's just, when you know how to do your hair gang, like haircut and all, you just don't want to go spend your money on nobody. And baby, please. Her cousin is sixty eighty dollars. I'm not finna. I barely got her. I don't grew all my hair out, so it's like y'all ain't even cutting nothing, and y'all still want to charge me eighty dollars. Fuck no. I'm gonna do that shit myself, type shit. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave my I'm um, um I'm not gonna wash my hair or nothing. I'm gonna just touch up my um roots and I'm gonna two strand them. I'm gonna two strand them, wet them, two strand them up and sit under the dryer. And leave them two strands in until Saturday because I want my curls to be deep, crinkle, and I need them bitches to stay or whatever. So that's what, I'm gonna do that today, and I think I'm gonna cook today. I've been, I've been, I've been eating out a lot. I've been eating out a lot, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to cook today, but oh, we 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 gonna figure something out, guys. We're gonna figure something out. I um I took my hamburger meat out the fridge. Hopefully it'll be unthawed enough so I could probably make something with that. I don't know. But I just know I'm not I'm not eating out today. I'll probably take myself somewhere Sunday. But um I'm tired of eating out. I've been eating out all week and I mean even though it don't make no difference, and it really don't make a difference if you eat out or cook in the house because back then you know, cooking in the house, you save a lot more money. Baby, I think you spend more money now trying to cook your own food rather than going to eat somewhere. I don't know. It's just me. I just feel like every time I buy stuff to cook, it just, the, the math don't be math. And it be like, 
I could have got, I just could have went out to a nice ass restaurant, got a drink, an appetizer, and an entree, and still probably would have spent less than what I spent buying the groceries to cook the meal I want to cook at the crib. I don't know. But I like being in the kitchen now, and so I'm testing out myself. I'm, I'm giving my, I'm just, you know, you got to keep perfecting your craft to get better. So I'm just going to keep, I just keep cooking to get better and better and better. I'm not a chef, but my food is good. It gets it get ate around this motherfucker. That's that's all I say. Now I ain't just the only nigga that's eating it type shit. Like my shit get ate. But um, yeah, gang. I'm rapping. I'm 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 I'm, I'm drinking a Red Bull. I, I'm drinking a Red Bull. I I ain't talking Red Bull and I don't know how long. And I just feel like I'm just uh nigga. I'm talking fast. I'm all over the place, gang. But I I got energy. I got fucking energy. And. Yeah, I'm done talking. Let's get into this vlog game. I don't know, but if you ain't done it, you need to do it. If them post notifications ain't on, you need to turn them post notifications on, gang. So y'all know every time I drop a vlog. And if you ain't already like, like this vlog, gang. And let's get into it. My baby be seeming like a creep. <laughs> like, she, she, she in love with me, gang. This, this cat isn't, this cat is in love with me. She'll just be goddamn staring at me. She be giving creep, but she just be staring at me. Like, that's my baby, though. <laughs> that's my baby, though. So much, it tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bruh. So, what can I say to you? That I'm off that, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. But I bet a lot of y'all are wondering where I got this other dog from. Don't worry. I didn't rescue this one. I didn't steal this one. Since y'all love saying the nigga stole a, a animal. But this one definitely wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that, y'all. But <laughs> y'all niggas know y'all love saying I stole somebody freaking animal. When ain't nothing really, it's really nothing wrong with rescuing uh, an animal. If you see an animal on the street and around where you at and it don't have no collar or anything like that, or you know what I'm saying, you give it time for somebody to claim it, it's nothing wrong with taking in an animal. I'm a, I'm a people person, I'm an animal person. I love people, I love animals, so if I can help anything I will definitely do that. Like, I am an animal lover, if you ain't noticed. If you ain't fucking noticed. I love dogs. I love cats. I love all things. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's my little nigga. His name is Prince, by the way. His name is Prince. Reality is turned off. Who the fuck knows? I just make songs. Who am I to sound as how this shit goes? A sarcasm, by the way. Pack 
Baby, can you think a nigga blowing time? Here's your blood Hey, gay. Hey, 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 listen, listen. I don't think. Okay, listen, bro. Listen. <laughs> hey, bro. Yo, like. <laughs> Y'all know how on my last vlog I was talking about Miss Nettle. <laughs> on my last vlog, I was talking about how I just been too thin to Miss Nettle, right? <laughs> so tell me what, I'm just minding my business, scrolling on TikTok, bro. And hold on, hold on, before I get into that. Bro, it's only funny if y'all know who these people did, bro. If you don't know who Miss Nettie is and you don't know who Tia Kemp is, Tia Kemp is Rick Ross' baby mama. <laughs> and if you know, you motherfucking know. Like, <laughs> ain't, 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 ain't too much I can say. Ain't too much I can say about Tia Kemp, bro. You know, you know, goddamn. She, hey, baby, she eat down, baby. She eats down. Like, <laughs> she already nigga to the fifth up and down all around. Like, she do not play no fucking games. And I don't know why Miss Nettle just decided to motherfucking decided to motherfucking go toe to toe with her, but baby, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I came in on the I came in while Miss Nettle was talking shit. Miss Nettle was goddamn the com people in the comments was like, add her to the line, add her to the line, add her to the line. <laughs> Miss Nettle was acting stupid, like bitch. You see this one particular name. Was sending you all these fucking, I don't, they, be, they, they was sending her something. They was like, that's the motherfucker that you need to add. Like, that was Tia Kim sending her all this shit. Miss Nettle was acting stupid. Cool beans. Miss Nettle was like, Miss Nettle was like, she looking for a certain name of the, of, of the TikTok. So Tia, she, she get off that other TikTok and go to the Tia K TikTok that Miss Nettle kept claiming that she couldn't find. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm talking about instantly. <laughs> instantly. Soon as Tia got on that fucking live game, she start eating down. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about she start instantly going in. Like, like she started going in. Like, I pray to God, like, I'm just not laughing. And I pray to God that I'm just not laughing and cracking up for no reason. Because I pray to God, I hope y'all know who to freak. Miss Nutter and Tia Kemp is, bruh, because if you do, bruh, bruh, I know you was cracking the fuck up when this shit happened. I actually was on the fucking live. But if you ain't see the live, it's all over TikTok, man. And if you don't know and you want to kiki, get on TikTok and type in Miss Nutter and Tia Kemp, promise pinky, you won't see every fucking thing. And it's, it was, see, I'm talking to, I can't. I ain't never seen a nigga eat a nigga up so bad like that in less than five minutes. She called that lady a thousand names, <laughs> but a child of God <laughs> in five minutes. Miss, like, if you know Miss Netta, Miss Netta ain't getting off no lie. She not getting off no lie, gang. Like, Miss Netta would talk shit and talk shit and talk shit. She ain't getting off no lie, bro. She gonna make her money. Miss Nettle got off that line so fast, gang. Like, <laughs> she got off that line like a nigga was finna come get her, bro. Like, she got off that line like her life depended on it, bro. Like, and that I ain't never seen that shit happen. But I just had to come and tell y'all, because on my vlog I just dropped yesterday. On my vlog, my on my last vlog, I was just telling y'all how I just been finding myself watching Miss Nutter. And this is what I mean. Like, I don't really be having nothing negative to say about Miss Nutter, but it's just like, she funny. You gonna get a good kiki out this girl because she delusional. But, <laughs> hey, my motherfucking cheeks hurt, bro. I've been motherfucking laughing for the past 30 minutes. Like, I've been laughing since it happened, since it happened bro. Like, that shit is so fucking funny, gang. Like, that shit is so freaking funny, gang. But I just had to come in and let y'all know, like, <laughs> it went down on TikTok today. <laughs> and if you know Tia Kemp, 
Man, you just got to know to know, bro. That's all I'm going to say, bro. But <laughs> I'm going to see y'all later, gang.